Hey, welcome to Sports Close Up on Armstrong. I'm Ed Mary, my co host, John Matillo. John Matillo. We're here with Amiibo Vernon 8 to 10 U uh, All Star team. Um, John, go ahead and introduce these gentlemen, please. Manager Scott Redden, assistants Jason Mudger and Mike Lucas. Well, guys, congratulations on a fine season. Thank you, thank you. It was a, it was a fun run for sure. When, uh, when did it all start? How long did you have to go with this process? Well, we had our tryouts at the end of May. Okay. We brought the two Meadville teams together and the Vernon team, and the new Little League structure says we got to take 12, so we had to dig, dig pretty deep to find 12 kids that we could find that would hit the ball, get on base, and, and put together a fun little roster. We were really young compared to a lot of teams that we played, but um, most of our kids have played Little League travel ball all the way through, so we played good fundamental baseball, and once our regular season wrapped up, we got together and started. How long did your uh, regular season last? Um, it's 12, 13 game season. Is so typically. did you play other communities? Because there's we only had two meet teams in Meadville and one team in Vernon. So did you play like was it Sagertown in your league? We actually it was broken up, so we only played the two other Cockerington teams. Okay. So it was the five teams within us I that played you. each other throughout the year. Okay. Um, they built some rivalries that way of playing the same teams over and over again, okay. but. Um, saw the same teams when and out of that group you picked your 12 all-stars we did yep we got our 12 we actually took 13 because uh, we you got to play the vacation game of when okay. some kids yeah. are going to be here some not so we ended up rostering 13 and um, had 12 most of the time but by the time we finished it uh, so you started in uh, late May put your team together yep and when was the first your first all-star game when would that have been that was end of June and first so all-star game for a whole month yeah, right about. Okay. We by the time that ended of you know mixing in rec season practices and games, and then got together, practiced for three solid weeks, and then we played Sagertown right off the long jump. Long days, <laughs> very long days. Yeah. Well, did long you guys, weeks? <laughs> you guys practice all, almost every day, or did you take days off? I mean, that's pretty tough on kids eight to ten every day, maybe. Yeah, it's not every day. We would be two to three times a week, depending on weather permitting. Okay. Um, but these boys love baseball, they love and baseball. You, they would practice every day if we let them. Yeah. Did you ever did you practice up here where you played? Yeah, we practiced all our games up here. We or our practices were here. We knew that's where um, the, games the district, district games. was going to be. So gives us a little bit of an advantage being a practice at home. No, so go good. ahead, Ed. Did you guys all coach together like the whole? Like last year, the year we before. coached against each other. Yeah, uh, I coached last one year. Who won the championship? So I had the other Meadville team. Okay. And Mike coached Vernon. This That's gentleman. why you're the manager. You're yeah. The yeah. Well, we ended up. <laughs> it, we broke up our teams a little bit differently this year. Vernon had its own, and then when we broke ours up, um, a lot of the older boys stayed with me because I coached the 10U travel team in this area, and Jason's one of the coaches for the 9U travel team. So we think it's important to keep chemistry together as much as possible right. and let that, those boys play together that would be important you know it's interesting and we were talking early before you when before we got on camera I, I go back when we had 12 little league teams and <laughs> mike said he had eight now we're down to two in meadville and one in vernon wow that's unfortunate but then again as long as we have uh, nine guys is all we need for baseball right? that's it yeah so uh so your first stop was the win districts then correct yes and who was your competition in districts? Um, Sagertown. We played them right out the gate. There's five teams in our okay. um, district that we played, and so we go, go to the meeting and they pull the drawing. We knew Sagertown was going to be tough, and that was the one team we didn't want to play first, and, of course, that's what ended up happening. I went to that game, and I watched that, and obviously I don't like Sagertown. I, I respect them. Let's put it that way. <laughs> they always have good baseball players out there. They do. And uh, it was really nice. I think you guys beat them, what, 3 nothing. It was 3 nothing. yeah. We uh, started out, we got runners on base, and Sully drove in two runs. And yeah, I saw that. Had a two-run lead, and uh, Emmett was on the mound for that first game, and he pitched five and two-thirds, which almost got through the whole thing, and we ended up putting two more runs. In you know the, what I noticed in that game, both teams – how they play? I think they played airless baseball, mm -hmm. if, I'm, if I'm correct on that. And that was very, very impressive minimal. for eight very to ten minimal. year olds, yep. and it was a very competitive game, well pitched, well played, and uh, uh, you know I managed American Legion Bay. I managed for a lot of years, and I think the key is throwing the ball over the plate. <laughs> if you can avoid walks and airs. Yep. Yep. Pitching and catching. That was it. We was a ten to one strikeout to walk ratio, which 
puts you in a pretty good place to yeah. win Little League Baseball. Your, uh, who was your catcher? Uh, I was Blake. Blake Seibert was our catcher. He was our Iron Man. He was a big difference maker this year for us. We came in knowing that we had one, two of our best pitchers were also guys we were going to lie on to catch. Um, but Blake by far logged the most hours back there. and He, he, he was impressive. He yes. was very, very good back there. I didn't see very many pass balls at all either, no. which is for a young man to catch like that. No, we had, I think, four of our 11 games, we gave up zero stolen bases That's in impressive. Middle League or pass balls. Pass balls. You, know. you can't really steal. steal I mean, you right. can steal, it's, but you can't leave until yeah. the ball gets to the catcher's glove. Exactly. So. Um, so you beat Sagertown the first game. You have to beat him twice. It's double elimination, it's correct? It's double, correct. So after Sagertown, we played um, – Mid-East. Mid East. How yeah. bad you beat them? That was a pretty good one. It was, I I think it was 11, 11 nothing. I think, yeah. Something like that. Yeah. 11 or we gave up no, no runs in district, so. Yes. And then Cockerton after that. Wow. Yeah, then Cockerton was another. No runs given up. No runs. Nope. So how many guys pitched for you? Four. You want Four. to name their name so get them on T, their name. We'll talk to them later. Sure. Emmett. Pitched. Um, Just give the last name. Emmett Redden pitched the first game. Okay. He pitched five and two thirds, and Dylan Widger came in and closed it out. And then in the second game, Sebastian Kotler pitched, and we kept him. We kept his pitch count down to roll into the next one. We kind of pitched by committee. So Blake Sivert pitched in that game. Um, Ethan Jordan. Ethan Jordan came in and pitched in that game. And, and then Travis. I think Travis also later. Oh, we see the clock for him. I think Travis was in Cochran. Yes. Okay. Okay. Well, that's pretty yeah. impressive. A zero, zero, zero ERA. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. impressive. And I, probably about maybe two or three walks only, wow. if I can recall. I think we had four total walks in districts. Yes. Are they throwing yeah. mostly fastballs? Uh, most of our pitchers, um, some of our older guys have developed some off-speed stuff that we've worked on in in travel baseball that was really effective if you can change speeds at this age. It, it's if a you can game change speed at this age, absolutely. They all throw what their curveball is supposed to be, but, you know, taking care of the arms as much as we can and teaching them. coach? Yeah. Depends on who you ask. <laughs> I, you know, I do a lot of the pitching. You know, if we ask Mike, them. it's always going to be me. <laughs> me. No, I've, I've worked with these kids on um, – on how to throw a safe off-speed pitch that's not going to damage the arm and learning when to throw it and how often to throw right. it to, to keep them safe. So so after you won, do you beat Sagertown for the district championship? Correct. So did the kids get to run around the field with the flag? We actually we, we did the run, <laughs> but um, the banner was – didn't delayed. come in time. Okay. Delayed. Uh, we ordered yeah. it, but it was delayed. Okay. Um, so they did their lap, um, and they ended up getting their district banner in sections okay. um, the first day. So. so tell us a little bit about sections. Sections was in good old Bradford, Pennsylvania, where okay. we holed up, and we got there our first day. We were pretty excited to be there. We were the youngest, smallest team in sections. Um, By far. <laughs> again, yeah. Came out against uh, Punksy, and we knew they were going to be good, and they were. Um, do you do the eye test as a manager? Like look across the diamond? And oh, absolutely. Look, yeah. <laughs> I, I got they go and take. I, 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 I ignore it. I'm like, no, don't not. I always did the eye eight, test. Eight, nine, ten year old. You, they can break down at any moment or look like <laughs> freaking stars the next, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, Mike would go and pitch batting practice, and I would watch IO taking detailed notes. That's because you're the manager. Mm-hmm. So you got to do all the thinking. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um but, yeah, we, we lost our first game to Punxsy. It was a close game, but they got out in front, and we, you know, saw really good pitching again there. Um, so fell into the loser's bracket, and then we made it our goal that we were going to try to win one game at sections. So that pitching depth that you had when you got in the loser's bracket proved to be very it was advantageous huge. for you guys. It correct? was huge, yeah. We ended up – we started with uh, – you know, with Emmett Redden pitching to start, and they kind of got on him right away. So we had the idea of keeping him under 20 pitches mm-hmm. so we could pitch him the next day. So we rolled through, I think, six pitchers that day, the did first day. Did you know to do that, or did you get any advice from anybody, or did you have a pretty good idea of what you wanted to do? We had talked, uh, you know, amongst each other, and then I tapped on some of the old heads of Meadville that have been through it a time or two, and, you know, there's a balance between winning today and saving pitching for for later right. and we pitched for later in the first game and it kind of come back came back to bite us and we lost that one so we went into our second game against flag and said look we 
There is Flag no tomorrow. Would be Fairview, Lake City, Albion, and Girard. Correct. Yeah. No, so. no Albion, just Girard. The A stands for and. Oh, and. Okay. All right. Um, and so we went into that game, and Dylan Widger pitched that game, and we just he was pitching great, and so we decided like we're gonna win. burn him. Yep. So he threw his whole seventy-five, and hindsight, you know, it would have been nice to have him in the last game. That's but a good number though. If he's throwing strikes, he was throwing. You can, you can get through a game with seventy-five yes. pitches, and you guys aren't making errors. You, I saw your kids, your kids play, and they, you know, field the balls, make the routine plays. Mm -hmm. So we. Um, we, we pitched him and got through that game and won and then had to turn around and play Franklin the next day. Uh, Punxie, no, Punxie. 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 That's right. We played Punxie a game we lost to already. Okay. Yes. And that was, that was the game where we made the decision that it didn't matter if we lost that game or the next game or the if necessary game. So we held back on our pitching and we kind of pitched by committee. And Blake Seiver started that game and pitched. And that was the game Travis pitched yes. and also wrote. Yeah. Travis came in and pitched. And we had uh, Emma came in and did 20 that game, and it was a, a true team effort in that game to win it, um, to get to the championship game the next day, uh, which we saved. And then Emmett came out and pitched the championship game and went another five and two thirds. That yeah. was and just kind of won that. Then you had to win another. Then one. we had to win another Franklin, one. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. And we came out the second game, the if necessary game. We, we jumped on them early. We knew that they had burned through most of their pitchers, and we still had Sebastian uh, Kotler ready to go, and he pitched the game of his life. It was awesome to watch. He actually went out that morning. We went to a field and worked on some of the off-speed pitches that we talked about and taught him how to you know throw it and how to be effective with it. And I've never seen him smile so much <laughs> throwing an off-speed pitch for strikes, watching kids swing and fall down. So that was definitely a lot of fun to watch and him do. It's always nice to beat Franklin, too. Mm -hmm. Always yes. nice to beat Franklin. Yeah. Always nice Franklin to beat Franklin. Franklin and Prep. Franklin, Franklin and Prep. Franklin. Franklin. You're right, Michael. <laughs> Don't like either one of them, either. Correct. It I'm was biased. nice, too, because in districts, we didn't allow a run, and then that if-necessary game, we shut them out. Yeah, that's nice. Getting another that's shutout. Yeah, that was a great comment. So how was your fan support up there? In Bradford, the you people in Bradford, overnight? did you we, stay overnight? Or? There was oh, yeah. there was a group of us that hold up for five <laughs> nights in Bradford. It was we booked the first two nights, and then we knew we weren't playing. All our games were in the afternoons when the weekdays. Six, six and yeah, so we you know you got to check out of a hotel that, by eleven. That's a lot of stress on the, the parents, the, the sacrifices they have to make, and, and the coaching staff and especially. And uncles. You know, to uh, you, you have a job. <laughs> Not right? during All Star Not season. During all -star. <laughs> you're you're your own boss. I am. Yes. Oh, there you um, go. So that helps. But it, no, it was our parents were great. I mean. We kind of drew a short end of the stick with sections being over two hours away and not an easy drive, and then states being four and a half hours away. Did you? Uh, how was? Did you ask the community for any like the hotel room to, for support for sponsors or anything like that? No, they were. I mean, they're used to it. There of you know, there were three other teams that were coming in, and so they were. I think Bradford was so, welcoming the business. Yeah, but I mean, did you guys personally have to? Your parents pay for the hotel? It was, uh, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah. was out of pocket. You, no, okay, yeah, out of yep. pocket. Well, I recommend next time because you guys will probably continue to do this. Ask people for there's, this community would support you guys. Would yeah, one hundred percent. I know they would. You know, I know there's lots of. I'd be more than glad to help you raise money if you next time. Yeah, that would be awesome. So you got to the championship game. We did and blew the doors off of Franklin on that one, and it was a fun walk off. <laughs> of we got our banner that time and got to take our lap <laughs> all the way around, <laughs> and did that. And the Franklin parents weren't too happy about that. That's but. all right. The Bradford people were awesome. They, you know, welcomed us and they were cheering for us as if we were like Meadville Bradford. <laughs> Learning. Yeah. yeah, once we marked Punxy out, they they it, loved us. They loved it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, you know, that rivalry it's fun. That's part mm -hmm. of, you know, sports. Your rivalry is probably some of your, you know, you've got mutual Most respect needed, yeah. and you you need to have that. So now you're off to stakes. Three days later. We finished on Jeez. Wednesday. We had Thursday, Friday, and then... And States was in Dallas? In Dallas? Yeah. Yep, yeah, right outside Wilkes of Scranton. Scranton, Scranton Wilkes, okay. Wilkesburg. Wilkesburg, okay. Scranton, yeah. So now you're looking at about a six-hour drive from Meadville? It was about four and a half. Four and yeah, half. four and a half. It, it was, was about 20-minute traffic there <laughs> on 80. But but the coolest experience of States was the, the Sunday of, they do a big opening ceremony where they introduce all the sections. I mean, that's down to the top eight teams in the state now. You. 
So they went through and the kids all, you know, all the teams should, were there with their parents and coaches and they did introductions for each of them. They gave them their pins. So like these nice. kids all got their state pins the night of. And Was uh, Mr. Dithrich there? He came on uh, Saturday, on um, Monday, Monday, Monday for the first know, game. Bill Dithrich is our guru. Our he is. He's our little. For, what, 40 years now? <laughs> Sunday he was actually in St. Mary's with the uh, one Federal Credit Union Legion team okay. watching them play in St. Mary's on grand, Sunday. Play, his grandson plays on <laughs> Correct. And so then he turned around and went another two hours okay. further and came and watched our next game. Bill's a good States. man. I've, he was an umpire, too. I didn't like him when he umpired. <laughs> Nobody likes umpires. No. <laughs> So you got there to Dallas, and uh, how many? There's eight teams. Eight teams, yep. And all mm -hmm. legit. They were all amazing. They were mm -hmm. men. I mean, they were 12. They look like 12, 13 year old boys, yeah. but they're 10. It's amazing. It's that is I, well. We had experience with our Legion team. We went to Boyertown, and we went on the field. It was. It, it, it's a, they get to play baseball more. The weather's better in yeah. the eastern part of the state, the southern part of the state. It makes a little bit of difference. South on, I eighty on also yeah. south yeah, of I eighty. They're on the fields a little bit more, and and they probably have a lot more kids to pick from. Oh yes, yeah. I think a uh, team, which would make a big difference. West Point was there, and they said that they picked from nine. Little League teams. Yeah, I think the same with Hollidaysburg. Who ended up winning yes. it? Who we played okay. first. I got you. And so what happened in the first game? The first game, we came into it a little starry-eyed, and we did the same strategy that we thought we would in sections, where mm -hmm. we keep our pitchers on a short leash, pitch them 20 pitches. And um, we started out with Emmett on, on the mound, and he pitched well. He was effective. We went one, two, three. and Great first inning. Yep, so great first better. inning. We got some runners on in the bottom of the first inning, and – and then Scott's looking at me, and I go, no, Scott, don't do it. <laughs> don't. We have to save Emmett. I mean, as bad as I want to win this game, I want to I want to win one state game, mm -hmm. you know. So, But, yeah, the Holidaysburg team was legit from start to finish. I looked it up, looked them all up and down. I'm like, don't do it, Scott. I'm like, these guys are real deal here. So. It was it was tough. But then they, you know, they pieced together a few runs each inning, and it, the score was, a, you know, we lost 10 nothing that game, but we had opportunities. And well, that you was, go the six innings? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. And we had opportunities. Hate that mercy rule. Though. Almost, mm -hmm. almost every yeah. inning we had one to two runners on bases loaded, and we just couldn't break through without one. Kind of like the one Pirates big hit. Didn't get that clutch. Exactly. <laughs> so we need one yeah. inning. Baseball's one inning. All about situational yeah. hitting. Um, so you lost that game. So now, now you're in Dallas for what? One night? Another one. Yeah, we all stayed Sunday night. So now it was because we had the banquet mm -hmm. Sunday night. Woke up and we had the game Monday. <laughs> And everybody yeah, stays Tuesday. Monday night and then played our second game uh, Tuesday against Eastside. And they were another Coatesville. really yeah, good ball club. Eastern part of the state. Mm -hmm. Philly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and Emmett went 75 again that game. And it was a one to one game all the way through. That's a well played baseball was, game for young yes. kids. Bases loaded, one out. Oh, we couldn't get, yeah. couldn't get the ball in play. We just had yeah. to put the ball in play. And well, baseball is a game of failure. <laughs> One out of three puts you in the Hall of Fame, right? That's mm -hmm. what we try to explain to the kids that come in. And How were their emotions when they lost? Oh, it was a, it was tough. We preach really heavy that, you know, to stay in control of your emotions, understand the situation, and, you know, if you make an error, we say, so what? Yes. The most important play is the next one. If you ask our kids, it's kind of their mantra of, you know, they pick each other up with that of, hey, so what, so hey, what, What, what do you on. get out of beating up an 8- or 10-year-old kid about making an error? I mean, they're not making it on purpose. We had a lot of plays where there was an error made, but the relay came in, we got him out at second, relay came in, we got him out third, uh, a backup, the guy was backing the outfielder up, he made the play, made that single. I, I would say you're, you're, a you're young, you're, those kids that you have on your team were very well coached. You guys did a wonderful job with them. I mean, just by watching, uh, they, you know, your one, two games I watched you guys play, they were fundamentally sound. Hmm. They're good. Are you guys all coming back together next year? Well, we kind of split next year because half mm -hmm. of our team will go up. Both of these guys will be down still in minors, and I'll move up with age group wise to the major league bracket. Two years, so eleven, now. which is eleven and twelve. Years. Correct, eleven and twelve. So, uh, five of our thirteen, six of our thirteen, uh, move up next year, and they'll rejoin the team that they had last year. Um, with Larry Roberts and Matt Filippa and Vince Tranga and those guys will all be well blame How'd they do in the They lost to Sagertown in uh districts. districts. Yep. Okay. Sagertown was a another really loaded group of kids there. They they had some big boys. Yeah, I was, I was in that game when they yeah. played me, though. 
Holy cow. They got some big boys. Like, yes. I'm like, where did they come from? They were taller than me. And I'm six foot. Yeah. Like, did, there's some big boys. They had, the, they had a good football team last year, too. <laughs> Size helped with that. Oh, you, you, so your kids, you have multiple sports that a lot of them kids play? I think all of them do. Yes. Um, pretty much all, most of our, probably 80% of them all play football. So they're transitioning now into putting pads on or putting the flags back on for the younger guys. And How about the uniforms? <laughs> well, who, whose idea was it? Was it Lucas's? No, it was not Lucas's. <laughs> my, uh, but I was all up on it when I saw, I saw the jersey. Like, yes, well, that, was I'll take it. that was San Diego Padres uniform. It was, right? yeah. We uh, so it's every year is always the same. Same Meadville red and black, or Sagertown blue and yellow, and Cochranton red. And we were coming together with Vernon and Meadville, and so my wife likes to be off the yeah, wall with Miami Vice. Because that's the <laughs> that's a very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so my what my older son is a big San Diego Padres fan, and they their City Connect jerseys are pink and teal. And so she looked at a picture and said, "What if what if we just did this?" And I was like, "Why not? I think they, I think they why not? Grow on you. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I thought it was the Miami Marlins at first. Well, and I look at it. we got more compliments, mm -hmm. more praise, more like kids it. coming up being like, "Oh, those are the coolest uniforms we've ever seen." Except we for the white pants. For you? Except for the white pants. Yeah. The mom's doing Sorry, the laundry yeah. in the yeah. Bradford Best Western <laughs> in the in the laundry in the bathtub. That's that was right. the hard part, but they looked good on the field. That's for sure. It was a lot of fun. So I think one of the important things is the camaraderie. The young kids get to, you know, they'll probably be friends forever. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. They grow up yeah. through the system. Go to, you know, play Legion baseball, play high school baseball at Meadville. That'd be nice to see. Mm -hmm. See it grow. It is. You see these kids like as much as they bond on the field. Those times, like those five days in Bradford, where they were in the pool, and I mean they basically took over an entire hotel yes where they just walked they they knew the staff there they knew like like they would go from room to room they each had each other's keys you'd come in like i'd come into my room and my kid may or may not be there but three other boys would be I'm like oh hey guys Declan was definitely in there he was in there that's your boy yeah that's he's friends with everybody i think everybody from 8U, 9U, and 10U have probably stayed night at my house. <laughs> that's, that's important, yeah. you know, to develop that camaraderie and mm -hmm. friendships. Mm -hmm. They can last forever because not a lot of teams can do that. I mean, it's hard to, it's hard to win. I mean, only one team ends up champion when yes. it's all said and done. But it seems to me your kids are champions, obviously, you know, to win oh, districts yeah. and sections. That's important. Yeah, the biggest thing with our, too. with our kids is the – the leaders on the team are positive reinforcement kids. They're not ones that get down on kids who have a bad day or they, they're the first ones that will be in the dugout to pick them up and, and bring them right back up to I'll make my observation. I think they learned that from you three gentlemen watching you guys coach for the couple of times I saw you coach. The positives that came out of that dugout. Yeah, we feed on each other. I mean, Scott knows. He does his stuff. Mm -hmm. I'll sit back, and I'm like, all right, well, it looks like this needs to be done. And then Jay's like, well, I need to be doing this. There's no, I guess, as far as coaches, we don't do the popcorn watching as coaches. Right. We're always doing something. We never looked at each other like, what are you doing? Like, we were out doing everything. Yeah. Like, we never had, like, a. And you guys are friends, obviously. You develop friendships. Oh, yeah. well, we've coached in all the sports. He's the one that sucked me in all this travel ball, <laughs> watching my son throwing fly balls. Like um, at Shady Brook, or not Shady Brook, uh, Roach Park, and he's like, I think he's good enough. I was like, no, he's not. And I was like, man, maybe he might be. <laughs> so, well, that's good. You never looked that back. was like, what, three years ago. Now, Scott, your background, you're, I know Mike and Jason are from Meadville, Meadville High graduates, and I, we were talking about basketball earlier. Mike's one of the top five point guards. He thinks he was the best, but I don't. Five and a half. <laughs> five and a half. But anyhow, Scott, was your background? Uh, I grew up on the West Coast, actually, in Northern California, in a very similar meadville style town where it was football first and mm -hmm. um played football baseball basketball until i got to high school and then focused on football and baseball and um after that was in the military for a while and learned a little bit about a hard-nosed leadership roles and <laughs> carried that into coaching um i coach the middle school team here in meadville now and oh, okay so you're under, for under coach Tar a manager tartaglio no for baseball for, for football oh, for football, for football. yeah so under ray okay well that's obviously our football programs have been in good hands mm -hmm. if they mm -hmm. continue to dominate in my opinion i go to the games and oh yeah they're primed for another one this time for another one i was gonna have to play cathedral prep right <laughs> yes yeah right i'd like 
play him and beat him. But I mean, we've never we can't beat him, him if we don't play we've him. We've never beat him in football. We have beat him in hoops. Yeah, quite yeah. often. So that was your background. You're from California, then. Was your wife from Meadville? Uh, she actually grew up outside of Pittsburgh. Okay. Um, we met in college, and we moved back to Pittsburgh. And I said, if I'm going to live in northwestern Pennsylvania, the last place I'm going to live is down there. So all the one-way streets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was awful. So we had, you know, looked around for a while, and I liked the Conneaut Lake area, and we moved up, and we're about 400 yards on this side of the Meadville school district, and thought that that was going to be a curse having to go to Meadville instead of Conneaut Lake and it ended up being the best thing ever uh, like Mead, I'm so Meadville, excited. Mead, Meadville's you hear that sometimes I you know I, we're all, five of us or four of us are Meadville graduates and great it's a great school. It is I, I, it's a good melting pot you get in a little bit of everything which is mm -hmm. which is good yeah. I think and uh, we're glad we have you. I'm glad you came from California. <laughs> we need more guys that want to step up and coach your children. Do it. So anyhow, Ed, you got any other questions for these uh, guys? We're just going to take a little bit of a break and hopefully a little bit more kids show up. And we're going to have you guys still sit in with us, sure. you know, yeah. with the kids, because I know there's one of them that don't want to talk very much. <laughs> uh, the littlest one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the loudest one. Put the mic the in front of him. One. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're, we're really proud of you guys. And, yes. And uh, I hope it continues in the it's friendships that you've made in the, next, and, in the future. Yeah, and you know, watch your kids play football and hoops and baseball and any hockey players. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's uh, too bad. Only a there. couple. We're trying to weed them out. But yeah. Blake. <laughs> That's a, yeah, try to weed them out. No, the hockey's all right. <laughs> Anything the kids can do. Yep. I told Nick France he should have thrown his hockey stick in Rad Lake. He's one heck of a golfer, too. Boy. <laughs> Nick, yeah, I bet he yeah, probably he is. is. Demet wrestles, too. So Demet, the wrestler. Yeah, oh, yeah that's that's a good sport. Carter, uh, Vinny, uh, Vinny and Sully both did last year, yeah. also. Yeah. So, a little bit of everything. Sully, what's his last name? Sullivan Richards. Oh, his dad's a football coach. Mike, yes. Yeah, his dad, Mike, coaches, too. Yeah. Yep. Good football coach. Another awesome football influence coach. on Meadville. That's important to have. Well, we're congratulations to you guys and look forward to more success what do you think ed oh yeah i just can't wait for the next you know like i said five to eight years see mm -hmm. what they bring mm -hmm. you know, especially in the high school level it's gonna just be fun to watch yeah, gotta keep them in meat though mm -hmm. yeah we don't need them to we had well we, one of our best baseball players when my kid was growing up went to cathedral prep and it hurt us and he was a hell of a nice young man too and a good kid and too bad we lost him but that's the way it yeah. goes sometimes mm -hmm. Hey, welcome back. We have six of the 13 players here with us today. I'm going to start to my left. And what's your name and what position do you play? I'm Travis Mudger, and I play pitcher and outfield. Okay. Uh, Emmett Redden, uh, shortstop, pitcher, catcher. Um, Sebastian Kotler, I play pitcher first and third. You like pitching? Yeah. All right. Um, my name is Declan Lucas, and I play second base, left field. You're up, Mr. Longstreet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jackson, and I play EH and outfield. I'm Highland Ferguson, and I play second base and outfield. All right. All right. So how you guys have fun together this year? Yeah. Yes. Did you? Mm -hmm. um, so how was it when you guys played Segertown and all that to actually win district? It was fun. Yeah. Uh, it was kind of like, because we went from our travel team, which they're on our team, to um, all-stars where they're not. So it's like, I want to beat you, but I want you to win. So it was like It's fun beating frenemies. your friends, though, right? Yeah. 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 Then you got that bragging rights a little bit. Oh, yeah. That's what yeah. I do to Declan's dad when I beat him at golf. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> but, you know, hey. <laughs> they, that's like the same with me, because I'm on the same travel team as them. Because I knew the players on their team. Did you rub it in a little bit? No. Because they're, they're a good group of kids, and they can play too. I'm, you know. Mm -hmm. Declan? It was fun. Is that, is that all you got? <laughs> that you got? That's it, dude. That's it. That's Talk it. More. That's all you got. No. Jack? It was a little tough playing against them. Why? Why was that? Good team. Hard pitchers to play against. And that's why you know baseball is a team sport, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep, takes more than one player. Highland, go ahead, kid. I mean, it's a tough game, but it always feels nice to beat Sager Town and Cochran. <laughs> Sager Town and who? Cochran. Town. Attaboy. Yeah, you're raising them right. <laughs> who, who taught you that? 
Your dad? No. No? <laughs> My coach. Your coach. Yeah, here we go. Which one? Yeah, Which one? Yeah. <laughs> you just got thrown out. <laughs> hey, it's okay. I'm not ashamed of it. Who's your favorite baseball player? Uh, oh, Paul Skeens. Paul Skeens. Okay. Good How about chance. you? Andres Gomez. No. Okay. Uh oh. Declan. Uh, you got a your favorite baseball player? No, not really. No. Your dad. Go ahead, young See man. That. Who's um, your favorite? I don't even know. You don't even know. Do you guys watch baseball on TV, any of you? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Sometimes. Well, it's good to watch I'll baseball. You can learn a lot. Brother. <laughs> How about you, Mr. Redden? Uh, <laughs> that's like good baseball. And it's like good baseball. Have a baseball player, huh? Say a baseball player. <laughs> what? Say a baseball player. Well, steroid daddy hack the third <laughs> 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 Oh, Ramirez. Yeah, he's bad. <laughs> yeah, I like that. You're an Indians fan, then, right? Um, I'm a boy. I'm a Yankee fan. Yeah, so <laughs> I like, you can I like mean, the Pirates and Indians both. How I many really Pirate like fans are here? How many Pirate fans? Put your hand up, Pilot. I'm a Pirate fan. I am too. I thought you were not. So who do you like? We got an Indian fan. Who do you like? He looks all steroid. <laughs> <laughs> or are you just like good baseball? Uh, I don't know. Tell him about him. What? <laughs> I dare you. Brother, no. It's not even real. You guys have to, now we're on TV now. It's going to be all over. The whole world's going to see you guys. Uh oh. Okay. Did you know that? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, my favorite baseball player. We're going back to baseball players no. now. T favorite team. Team? Oh, team. Uh, Cubs, Yankees. The Cubs okay. and the Yankees. Huh? Oh, that's right. Your dad told One me that. Side. Yeah. I don't have a favorite team. Our team. There you yeah. go. Oh, hey. yes, he does. Declan? I don't know. Pirates, huh? No. No. O Oakland? Oh. Follow your dad's footsteps? Oakland? No. No? Okay. <laughs> as long as you like Jax, the Niners, that's all matters. You're Pirates, right? No, Jax likes the, the Guardians. The guard oh, that's right, oh, the Guardians. I'm sorry, that, the that's Guardians. Good. That was good. I that apologize. Get out of here. I don't like the Pirates. I'm the Pirates fan. You're a Pirates fan? I don't okay. like the Pirates. Hey, I'm an R team fan. So, so this year, what was the best memory? Uh, um, making it the States. Okay. Are you guys going to have Probably the day before. States. What was the day before? It was um this big like ceremony thing. Oh yeah, the banquet. We got the banquet. Weapons. Yeah, the banquet. Yeah. We got to run yeah, around. I saw a little bit from Mike's. Uh, yeah, I got to box all my parents. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, my shutout game. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Good job on that, by the way, Mr. Declan. Holding the banner. Holding the banner. All right. Probably Probably made made the how about you, Jack? Probably making it to states. Good answer. How about you, Highland? Same thing, making it to states. Yeah, all right. Of course it is. Good definitive. <laughs> What'd you think of those teams at states? Very, good. very good teams. Very good very teams. Good, huh? good ball players. Good teams. They were big. They make. They, were they were make big? great players. Yeah. <laughs> all of them were <laughs> ten. And look how far you made it. So we make size great. Yeah. Matter, right? Our team was probably. Our team was probably. You guys did very well. Right? Our team was mm -hmm. probably. I, our team was the youngest there. And the small one. <laughs> yeah. You guys all like to talk, don't you? No. That's good. I mean, Jacqueline told me he wasn't going to talk, and now he's just taking over my show. <laughs> I like talking in school. Oh, did your teachers I think like that? That's all you can do. <laughs> in school, then. Okay. Hey, Jacqueline, are you going to interview him? Ask him a question? Who? What? Your, 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 who, who was your favorite coach? Your teammates. Oh, oh my God. Oh, I'm, so awesome. I'm the all-star okay. team. I never yell at you guys. I'm the all-star team wherever. No, that's not a fair question. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I... Everybody has a favorite coach, though. I, do. I don't. I have two. Who are you guys? It's down to three. Oh, down to three? <laughs> okay, that's good. I like that answer. Very diplomatic. All three of these coaches are coach? my favorite. All three? That'll be, dude. All of my coaches. Okay. Coach Scott, okay. I'll take one. <laughs> coach Scott is one of my uh, favorites. I'm not really allowed to say it's my dad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't really know. Do you guys look forward to sticking together and have another run in a couple of years, every year, play mm -hmm. baseball? And mm -hmm. Now, yeah. do you guys play yeah. travel baseball? Yeah. Yes. Okay, do you yep. enjoy that? Yeah. 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 Did you guys just win a tournament, travel yeah. baseball? Yeah. 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 Ten you did. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who did you guys beat? St. Um, Mary's. Ah, okay. okay. Eight Where, innings. Where'd you play that game at? 
Um, Kenzu. Kenzu? Kenzu? Yeah. yeah. What? That was a fun game. Where is that? <laughs> yeah. Now, would you guys, uh, <coughs> do you have fun staying at the hotel? Yeah. No. Yes. Swimming? Yeah. No. yeah. No, the funnest was probably... Um, Bradford. Bradford. Yeah. yeah. Going to oh, Emmett's yeah. Hotel. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Sebastian. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was, it was just us three, and we would ask desk It me so many questions. Both hotels. And it was so I funny because you, you guys, didn't know uh, any of them. Do you I make friends on the other teams at all? No. 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 Eh. Boy, stick, to, stick, stick together. <laughs> I don't know. Your hat other speaks teams. differently there, Declan. This wasn't a team. I mean, they were kids yes. from Brad. Oh, it was your fans. Do you uh, friendly? You play any other sports? Hockey, oh, okay. basketball. How about football. you? Football and wrestling. Okay, Declan. How about football you? Football and basketball. Okay. Football and basketball. Okay. Football, basketball, wrestling. Oh, Ooh, wrestling. I have All another right. one. What's your Two other one? Volleyball. Volleyball. Good. All right. How about you, Mudge? I want to play football volleyball. and basketball. Okay. So we only have one hockey player. Yeah. We Blake love hockey players. Yeah, Blake would be playing. Blake plays hockey, but okay. he's not here. Oh, yeah. And Kobe. Oh, why does it call Brother. Brother, ooh. Kobe's on our travel team. Brother, ooh. So you guys looking forward to, like, relaxing now of the summer? You guys going to continue to practice and travel? Continue to practice. I'm tired. You're tired, are you? How can you we be tired? Big I'm going to be honest. Oh, big birthday party. How old are you, Declan? Nine. Five. Happy birthday, buddy. <laughs> My birthday was like last Three. week. Do you guys know happy birthday? Your dad never told me. Do you guys do good in school? Yeah. No. yeah. That's important. Yes, yes yeah. I do. That's I got straight A's. Yeah. Really I get straight A's. You get straight A's? Yeah. I, I Who does? Yeah. Does anybody not get straight A's on the I, report card? I get straight I get A's. A's. <laughs> Sebastian. I had a one B. One B, that's not I, bad. I no. take that. I own, day. I <laughs> only, that's all I ever got was one B. I only got. I only get <laughs> A's and B's. Anybody A's get? Anybody here C. ever get an F? No. No, my oh, sister got a C. <laughs> Your sister got a C. <laughs> my sister. Well, it was. It wasn't on. Oh, wow. It wasn't on a report card. It was on a test. Oh, well, okay. Neely never got a C. Yes, she did. <laughs> On the record, she's never gotten a C. Yes, she did. Okay. Boy, boy. The brother speaks the truth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Mike, good luck. I have better memory than you. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Oh, oh. That's true. You, what that's what did you have for breakfast yesterday? So, what was the play of the tournament? Yeah. The play of the tournament. Oh. They hit Probably dangerous. a lot of them. We had a lot. Um, Declan's double play in States was an awesome one. Uh, Dylan Widger had three or four diving plays up the middle. Ding oh, the and ball. a double the bare one. Hand. The bare hand. Yep. Yeah. That's the one. He had a weird hop to him. He and went, he had his glove hand. ready to go, and the ball took a hop. And he, he went, went, boom. Was like, what? And he looked at and it, it and then the rifled first. it first. <laughs> and everybody's like, didn't even freak out because they're like, what just happened? He got happened? a bloody nose, too. Oh, yeah. He got, he, got he, bloody, nose. he got a bloody nose in states, okay. and it just kept Emmett's going and going. Phenomenal. He was getting good. And then, and then yeah. the next, yeah. the next yeah. inning, the next yeah. inning yeah. when he was in the field, he made it. That was when he made the diving catch. I almost hit it outside the port. What are you doing, bro? Really, what? No. <laughs> and how does his wrist fit in there? Oh, what are you doing, man? It would have been right at the bottom. How does that break? Well, guys. Emmett, didn't you? I appreciate you guys coming on. You know, I, I, you know, wish you guys luck in the near future. Hopefully, we can do this again in a couple more years when you guys are all back together again. Please no. And you got the two okay. No, Decker, we gotta have you, dude. No, like, I don't want to do show. this again. We have to have you. I'm telling you, you are the show. You're just I'm like your dad. We love it. <laughs> no. You know, but uh, hey, for uh, Meadville Vernon All Star Team, um, I'm Ed Mayer, and that's John, John Matillo. Matillo, thanks for watching Sports Close Up on Armstrong, your neighborhood channel.